Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this is gonna be an unboxing video. And it's gonna be kind of fun because I have not yet opened the box. And normally in an unboxing video, I would probably have checked out what's in the box first before I go ahead and open it. But for this one here, let's use my favorite knife. And it's my favorite knife because it was free and it gets work done. And let's just open this up. Now, uh, on this particular box, this is an item that I purchased for the tractor that I've been beating half to death out there in the fields. And what this is, I'll show you in a separate video when I do the installation video on this device. But if anybody has a tractor uh, or you do a quick Google search on what a three point hitch is, uh, that's you know anything on the back of a tractor that lifts up and down and everything else. On the back of the tractor, you might have a couple of different things. One of which is a PTO or a power takeoff. Basically, it's a gear that sticks out the back of your, a shaft that sticks out the back of your tractor. You can connect stuff up to it like mowers and other kind of things for power, or you can connect leveling blades and things like that uh, to the back of your tractor to do work, but you don't need any power to run anything on it. So anyways, you have that and you have, there's a three point hitch. The top hitch is, um, the top point is the, you know, the connector for the top that helps you to tilt things forward and back and the other two hitches on the bottom lift things up now one of the things i've learned about a three-point hitch is it doesn't apply pressure down uh, unless you have like an auger that has something like that that digs into the ground that's a different story and i don't have one of those anyway so let's go ahead and take a look at what i ordered now i want to make a note about this anybody who has a business out there you're going to learn from this one here i purchased this stuff and this is a they didn't pay me for this i paid them for the stuff i bought it from them and they have a website, uh, they have a channel here on, um, on YouTube, and it's called Messix. Messix, a helping hand with your land. That's their logo, not mine, it has nothing to do with it. And uh, they're not paying me anything for uh, this discussion here, this uh, unboxing video. So, good boxing uh, packaging materials here. I like that. Okay, this one here's a little heavy. And inside the box, It's heavy. We have another box. So it's a double box system. And what this is, is the, um, it's an L, what is that? 8430, it's an L8430. And again, for your businesses, you may wanna make sure that your employees know what they're talking about because this is how I ended up getting this from Messix, who is up in the northern part of the country rather than my local Kubota dealer because when my Kubota went in for service, I said, hey, I wanna get rid of the turnbuckles on the three-point hitch. The two bottom ones, they might move in and out, and they might move or you know, shake around a little bit on purpose, or they might be very rigid. Um, the turnbuckles are a pain in the neck. Anybody who has to use them knows what I'm talking about. So I called up the, the service guy and I said, hey, you know, when my tractor gets there, I wanna get the stabilizers instead of the turnbuckles. I want to get new turn first. I want to get new turnbuckles, but you know, I don't want turnbuckles at all. I want to get a stabilizer, and I can show you a picture of what this thing looks like because it's right there on the bag, and um, it eliminates the turnbuckles. All right, so all right, so here's the deal. These two things here in the center, right, or on the on the uh, far left of the picture. Maybe it's on the far right of yours. But these two things coming out, all right, are the lower arms, all right? And then the turnbuckles go where this device and this device here are, right? These are the stabilizers. They get rid of the turnbuckle. And here's a picture of the stabilizer in place, all right? This does actually open up, I think, here. Okay. It just makes it one big, one big sheet of paper. This is nice, all right? I already got the idea how to do it because not only does Messix sell this stuff, they have the channel on YouTube. I actually, one of the things I found and the thing that told me it was the L, what is this thing, L8430? Yes, it's the L8430, it is the stabilizer kit. So uh, this is just the unboxing to see what's in the kit. And we have a, a box of goodies um, to assemble everything with. And then we should have four more pieces in here and that's all there is to it. Ugh. Very good. So now the box is empty. We got instructions. We got a bag of goodies. And then we have a couple of other items with it. 
I gotta tell you, this tape that's in here looks like medical bandage tape. I, it, it does. It doesn't look like packing tape normally. It looks like, uh, you know, I don't need my knife for this. All right, so here we go. So we take it apart. This is one of the pieces that it, uh, oh, there's actually four pieces in here. Good. Okay, these are the same piece, all right? The, uh, you get two of these, right? You need two of those. And you need uh, another two pieces here. Okay, good. The other, okay, the other pieces are attached already. I didn't know what, to, what was in here. But this is exciting stuff. It's gonna save me a lot of time, energy, aggravation, frustration, and things like that, which you know I hate so much. All right, here we go. All right, and this slides. This slides back and forth and locks in place. Now, there's uh, another gentleman out there, and I, I am very sorry, I forget the man's name right now. He makes a stabilizer that goes on the back of your tractor. He custom makes them. They're made in the USA, fantastic and all that. The main difference between his and, and this one here is this one here is a Kubota factory, you know, OEM, original equipment manufacturer. Uh, they may not be the actual manufacturer. They may buy them from a sub party or something like that, sub it out or something like that, but it's from Kubota. It's got a Kubota instruction. It's got the Kubota logo on it and everything else. If anything goes wrong with my tractor, this is a Kubota part. I bought the tractor brand new. If anything is gonna go wrong, I'm a law student, right? So if anything goes wrong from a liability standpoint, I want it to be Kubota parts um, that because I think they got the money to help fix me if I get broken because I've uh, installed everything properly and for some reason it didn't work. Anyways, there's another part of this thing here. There's a set of, it's heavy. There's a set of single holes and then there's this other elongated hole here. The other gentleman that they, makes these things and he has a fantastic, just a fantastic reputation, Hodge, Hodge. Forget his first name, but Hodge makes these things. That's his name, you can look him up there, Hodge Stabilizers or whatever, and he will make, you know, he, I believe he's still in business, still making these things. Uh, but anyways, this, this uh, series, this one here, this is the main difference. Because of this one here, it will give you some play. If you put your uh, bolt through this particular part, it can slide back and forth. That'll give you a little bit of play in your implement that you put behind your tractor and the fact that it's a Kubota part sold by Kubota, right? And uh, through their dealer network, that's why I purchased this specific one. And my understanding is that the curved side as opposed to the flat side goes up towards the sky, all right? So, uh, but we'll check all this out later. I'll do an installation video on this I'll make sure I got all the parts, make sure I get everything all in order and everything else. And then um, as soon as I get some good weather outside, I'll pull the tractor up onto the uh, concrete slab of our driveway and I'll go ahead and do the installation on this. And uh, I'll probably only make you suffer through one side, but I'll do both. So if you wanna watch both, you know, you can. Anyway, so with that, it's gonna wrap up this, uh, this, this in here is just another part. It's the other part of this. And the main thing about this part here is um, this, this side here connects up by the tractor, all right? So I know that part, that because I already watched a video on how to install the thing. This connects up to the tractor, okay? Uh, and then this part here, and this little L-shaped thing at the bottom here, right, L, uh, is a really another ingenious uh, item here because this has to mount onto your, um, onto your uh, there's a, an arm that this mounts onto that this all connects to, and I forget how exactly right now, but, this thing here is so that when you're putting the bolt on here, this thing doesn't spin around freely. You don't, so you don't need two sets of uh, uh, pliers to turn this thing on. You can just, you put this thing in, it kind of locks in a place, kind of like that kind of deal. I don't know, like that kind of deal, so that it can't, it can't turn. It, this doesn't mount this way. <laughs> but anyway, so it won't be able to turn, you know? So you're, you get your bolt on there, you can turn it on and, and, and uh, turn the bolt on and, and get it all uh, connected up and everything's uh, easy peasy, as they say, right? Uh, anyway, so with that, that's gonna wrap this uh, unboxing up. This is the Kubota. Uh, this is the L8430 stabilizer kit. It gets rid of the turnbuckle things, and I'll show you what those are when I do them. Uh, when I do the install of this, I'll show you what the turnbuckles are. Um, when you see them, they're gonna, you're gonna remember them from, from grade school or whatever, you did a science project or anything like that. You may have seen a turnbuckle when you're doing weights and pulleys and stuff like that. Uh, but it's a really cool little item, but they take a lot of time, energy, aggravation, and frustration when you're trying to get work done with your tractor. You just wanna get it done, make your adjustments, and keep on going. Um, and this thing here is something that I planned on 
being a lot stronger than a turnbuckle because I bent one of them and I'll show you out there when I do the install. Uh, but uh, it saved me a lot of time, energy, aggravation, and frustration. All right, so with that, let's wrap this up. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, make a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know you drop by to say hey. All right, so with that, until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.